The motto that goes, better to say I ran here than I fell here is not well received in combat sports. However, there are instances where many boxers have acknowledged their inability to face their opponents and have chosen to surrender before being seriously injured, pursuing a victory they will never attain. Mike Tyson made a name for himself in the discipline by taking on the toughest opponents without a hint of fear and emerging victorious. Meanwhile, others like Andrew Galota tarnished their careers by avoiding matches where they truly had to box if they wanted to be victorious. In this video, we narrate the day when the Polish boxing idol disappointed his nation by showing that his controversial fighting style couldn't measure up to the true legends of the discipline. From the announcement, it was clear that the Mike Tyson vs. Andrew Galota fight wouldn't be just another event in the history of boxing. Both rivals had respectable records that assured fans they would at least witness a great spectacle. Galota was a monster in the ring. In his first 28 fights, only two of his opponents managed to finish the match standing. In retrospect, Galota's strong performance earned him multiple opportunities at the heavyweight world title, but his achievements didn't stop there. He was an Olympic medalist and maintained impressive statistics in the sport. However, when his ascent to the top was interrupted by a wall named Mike Tyson, a challenge few boxers have managed to overcome, Galota, despite his size, couldn't avoid an unusual and controversial ending that marred his record. He was one of his country's best boxers, born in Warsaw, Poland, on January 5, 1968, and won the national heavyweight title four times by the age of 22. Galota was a giant in Poland, not only due to his height of over 6 feet and well-distributed 220 pounds, but also because of his outstanding achievements in the sport. He even participated in the Seoul Olympics. With exceptional punching power and splendid fighting skills, Galota quickly achieved what many amateur boxers aim for, a bronze medal at the 1988 Olympics. His amateur record consisted of 114 fights with 99 victories, immediately putting him on the radar for a professional career. The boxing giant was feared by his opponents. When he didn't win his fights by knockout, the judges' decisions favored him, and some of his opponents even decided to quit before being destroyed by his relentless power. Thus, he faced the most significant figures of boxing in his time, with the aim of earning his chance at a world title. However, the fight with Riddick Bowe marked a turning point Pero as the Lota engaged in controversial actions, hitting Bowe below the belt. Comes back with a right. Galata lands a left hook. And Galata matches punch for a punch against Bowe. He's giving your body punches to your bed. This resulted in an unauthorized alternate fight with both teams getting involved. With one of the trainers unconscious and the media circus that ensued, Galota and Bo agreed to a rematch, where, despite his respectable career, Galota showed signs of not having learned his lesson and was disqualified for low blows. Points here if you can avoid throwing low blows. And... Just to be standing up in there, Riddick Bowe is showing a powerful force of will. Matches. Low blows, and down goes Bowe again. Yeah, that's it. And Cotton, got uh, Eddie Cotton, but he got out of Wayne Kelly in New York. Look at that. Over and over. And Larry, you can't say these. Are but every cloud has a silver lining. After that incident, his name and controversial fighting style led him to face other greats in the sport until his path crossed with Tyson, where, for the first time, the giant would be in serious trouble. To revisit this fateful encounter in Galota's now ruined career, we must go back to October 20, 2000. A giant Polish boxer entered the arena with the song who let the dogs out playing in the background, which seemed like a clear threat to Tyson, indicating that he was about to face an unparalleled beast. 
everyone wondered if Golota truly had a chance at success against a rival like Tyson. With his controversial fighting style, the night could bring a surprise to everyone, where the Polish boxer's cleverness would surpass Iron Mike's technical prowess. Tyson entered the ring wearing a white robe, and to all, it seemed like the boxing messiah had come to impart a lesson based on the strength of his fists and the unyielding spirit of a warrior. Two years younger than Tyson, Golota stepped into the ring with a record of 36 wins, 29 of them by knockout, and only 4 losses. Tyson, at 34 years old, had a record of 48 wins, 42 by knockout, 3 losses, and 1 draw. After the referee explained the rules, the bell rang to start a clash of titans destined to end much sooner and in an unexpected way. In the ring, the difference in size between Tyson and Golota was evident. However, one thing that Iron Mike had worked on throughout his career was turning what many considered a limitation in his early days into one of his greatest strengths. The fury of the dog, who had taken the stage, was quickly subdued by Iron Mike's punches. Golota actively tried to land punches on Tyson's face during the first round, but without any success. Mike's agile footwork allowed him to dodge these attempts, focusing on wearing down and weakening his opponent with body shots. With 15 seconds left in the first round, Iron Mike knocked the Polish giant to the canvas with a perfect right hook. The referee began the safety count, and Golota, now with Tyson's punches marking his left eye, seemed regretful for stepping into the ring with a true boxing beast. Andrew claimed he could continue the fight, and in the break before the next round, his team pressured him with instructions on what he needed to do to avoid repeating the embarrassing ending everyone had just witnessed. Both boxers came out for the second round with a desire to harm their opponent. Golota, seeking opportunities to advance in the contest, couldn't avoid getting hurt by Tyson's punches. Tyson's confidence and energy had risen even more after knocking down the giant before the end of the first round. But for Golota, the real battle began between the second and third rounds when his body begged him to stop, while his mind and his team told him to continue. The Polish giant walked hesitantly around the ring, while his corner openly expressed discontent with his attitude. They even tried to forcefully put his mouth guard on and make him enter the battlefield, but the fear of being severely punished by Iron Mike made the once proclaimed greatest in his country flee from an opponent who could truly teach him what professional boxing was all about. Tyson's impeccable technique left no room for Golota's controversial fighting style, and thus, just six minutes into the fight, Iron Mike added another victory to his record, humiliating the Polish giant and ending the respect he once had in the sport. The world of boxing is just, designed for gentlemen, and only those whose showmanship and sportsmanship values are honest can progress. Boxers with controversial fighting styles, but poor technique can only go so far, and for Andrew Golota, the limit in his career was running into Mike Tyson. This story ends here, but we have many more that will immerse you in the best and worst moments of boxing. Not all of the protagonist's endings are happy, but we assure you that you will have a good time getting to know the rise and fall of their careers.